A thousand souls wailing for vengeance, a mighty battle, an old friend returned. The way to the well is yet closed to you, Ryder, but there are keys for every door. Right, hi everyone, Joey V from Geekwatch here, welcoming you back to the Darksiders 2 full play. This is episode 24, and it's been a few weeks since we busted open Darksiders 2, but we're back. We're we're ready to get back into the swing of things after a short short sojourn with Far Cry 3 and hell yeah. <clears throat> and uh, and I gotta tell you guys, it's uh it's fantastic to have played this played played this game before. Taken a few weeks off and then come back to it. It's um, it's it's just so calming. <laughs> uh, the quirks of the game and the, the issues that I have with it are still there, but they're just so less magnified. And um, and to be fair, th this next this next area that we're gonna be playing through um, is a lot better than uh, it's a lot more it's a lot tight it's a lot tighter a lot more linear um, and a lot more the winning formula. And what is that? something teleporting up there well guess who's nothing <laughs> but um but yeah so it's uh it's been really great to uh to come through all this uh i just recorded all of this stuff uh in one go i recorded all four episodes and now i'm coming back to do the commentary <clears throat> um the the cool thing about this upcoming area is um, the story still doesn't seem to make too much more sense, but uh, but now having the setting in a I don't want to say familiar place, but something that we had seen from Darkstars One, you know. So it's we've got we're going to be doing some all this week. We're going to be working in heaven, and we're going to be working in Earth. Um, have pretty much we're going to be um, I have new items. doing some stuff in heaven cool. and sure enough someone is going to be like hey i need you to do something for me before i will do anything for you and that something is you have to go to earth and take care of some stuff so so yeah so for most of this week we're going to be doing doing that we're going to be spending our time there um the one thing that is a little odd, trying to get, or you know, something that is difficult to get used to, when coming back to this, is that um, it it does take a little bit of time to get used to the combat system again. Um, you may notice that as I go through this, I'm not using any of my abilities. I'm just kind of, you know, using my main weapons and uh, secondary weapon a little bit. Um, and I completely forget about like teleport slash and all that stuff. So, but it does come back to me um, at least relatively quickly. And um, but yeah, so it, it's it, it's been nice to kind of go through this stuff, take a break, and then come back to it. Um, it's just been a lot easier. more keys. And this is. Uh, once I got to that part, I had started to be like, "Ah, oh, the completionist in me started to come out and be like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Like, I don't, I don't know how diligent I have been in getting all of those Book of the Dead pages. So, it's definitely one of those things where, like, I know I have one full chapter, and I think I'm slightly into the second chapter of the Book of the Dead, but I don't think I, but I, there has to be some stuff that I've missed. So. But, uh, but so as a recap, uh, we went through the City of the Dead previously and we met up with the Crow Father there and he pretty much told us uh, in order to do what we want to do, which is to reinstate, which is to resurrect humanity, we're going to need the, we're going to need to use the, something that they call the Well of Souls. Um, and in order to access the Well of Souls, we will need a key. That makes sense. Um, in order to make sure that the key was... I guess safe or not or underutilized is another way of uh, phrasing it. Um, it was uh, one half of the key was put was brought into heaven, and the other half of the key was brought into hell. Um, 
and never shall the two ever meet. Um, so it is Death's job to go into heaven and hell and to get the, the key parts. From that, we should be able to to resurrect humanity and to clear war's name. So that's what we got going on right now. So right now we're in heaven um, trying to work that out. We are in a small outpost called Lost Light that... Um, um, I guess the explanation was that, you know, if anyone actually in the, the you know, the Holy City had it, um, they might use it, you know, they might use it for their own purposes and cause issues. So it has been put at the small outpost far away from that city to ensure that uh, it's, it is no longer used. Is protected from the demons and from uh, the angels themselves. You can see, I'm, I'm a little rusty, I'm getting hit a lot. My, uh, my, uh, my dodging is way off. But I'm starting to hit like a truck now, like my critical turn. Really starting to get closer. So I just have to finish this up and then I can talk to this one angel that is not corrupted. I always like the design of the angels uh, in Dark Souls and Dark, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. They kind of get this like. You know, you know. Obviously, the flow, the f the, the flowing wings and stuff, and the kind of really cool, like paladin-esque armor. I am the thing. I fought beside you. The gates of Eden would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You are of the Hell God. I was, but I guard the light now, and the Ark. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? Um, but yeah, the, the thing that I, I really like is that, you know, they've got kind of the traditional aspects to it, but uh, they also have this kind of like mechanical, steampunkish uh, look to them as well. And I think that's just, it's, it's just a really interesting idea. Uh, that the designers and, uh, and artists made, and I think it really serves the world, and um, I don't know, I think it just gives every, gives the angels a really unique look. Oh, so, so yeah, N uh, Nathaniel here is, uh, is my, um, my point of reference. He'll be, uh, he'll be the person that I buy and sell from. Uh, he also gives me a side quest, which I will not tackle this week. I'll tackle at some point uh, the next time around. And, the light um, shine on your just because I forgot about it. And um, what else is... That's, you know, that's pretty much it. Nothing too Enough. big. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. So I just bought this cool talisman. I'm gonna get this thing for Volgrim. The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. <laughs> what business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend, a lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court. I would assume that questions. that scroll is for Draven, who is the I would guess that what you seek is no uh, moves vendor. I would assume it's for, for him. That you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellguard? Abaddon sent me here. To watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light. 
for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? <laughs> Lucian is the head of the script. Death, you mean you don't know Those who these people are? Surely you jest. You know everyone, right? He peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. By he will have my answer. So yeah, like like anything else, you know, we're gonna go talk to the Archon, and he's gonna be like, "Hey, <clears throat> I'd love to help you, but I need X." <clears throat> and then once you get eight X, I will help you. But in of course, in this case, it's you give him X, and then you have to go do Y. <laughs> but in order to get X, you need to do X one, X two, X three. <laughs> you know, it's as you guys, if any of you have been keeping diligent with the with the full play you will be you are fully aware of all the bullshit that that we take place um this is a video game this is a video game this is a video game in the truest sense it, you know like it is not not trying to be anything else so unfortunately the story is just not as compelling but like i said it is getting better now because it is be it is be forcing itself to be more focused um, and I like that, so. Ooh, Trevor. What do you got here? Crap. I, I found myself in a spot where I'm doing so much damage, and I, I mean, this is a good thing, but I, I really haven't found a reason to really upgrade. Um, and I think that's just due to my luck I've gotten with, um, with, all the, uh, with all the possessed weapons and, uh, and all the epic weapons I found and everything like that. Like, I was really lucky. Like, I haven't changed my secondary weapon in forever and it's still fantastic. Come on, man. Come on over. This is so satisfying to kill them so quickly. So yeah, there's that. Um, there's a puzzle coming up here that uh, I, I skip through a good chunk of because I get confused at some point. Um, but again, it was a mostly it was me being adult. Um, the thing that I'm going to try and do at least from an editing standpoint. I'm not going to get really cute with um, like After Effects and anything like that. At least not yet. Um, not for this playthrough. Uh, I may do it for a different playthrough down the line. But the thing that I'm going to be trying to do with especially things like Darksiders and Far Cry and stuff like that is um, cut up the fat. Like if I get lost somewhere, if I get stuck somewhere, um, I'm just gonna cut that out and like right here you see I just cut I cut out a good portion of it um, there was many minutes of me getting very confused and like anything else it you know I forgot that you know this is the downside of not playing it <clears throat> to playing the game you know constantly I forgot about split form so but nonetheless I figured out what I was supposed to do and here I am now, getting, snagging the bomb, and then running off to, let's go, blow that stuff up. So, and that's it. Not a big deal. But yeah, so I'm definitely going to be trying to... Trim the fat in the future, um, you know, and for now it'll just be simple fades in, fade in, fade out type of stuff. Um, as when we get to new games um, for the full play and, you know, and maybe highlight reels and stuff, maybe I'll try and do, you know, different things. Maybe I'll try and do some After Effects or maybe just, you know, some picture in picture and stuff like that. Um, but for right now, there's there's no need. 
No need to play around like that. Ooh, Archon. I actually like the Archons. Uh, Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horseman. The things you have done. I like the, the Archon's uh, face design. I like his, I like, why you are here. pure then you will light. Give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Look at those wings. They're Corruption so badass. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure. A beacon against the darkness. Helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arka. Uh, perhaps not. After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. I, I have to say, when I first started playing this, I was like, oh, I, I, I guess I'm just going to Earth? Like, okay. Like, it, it, it kind of took me by surprise, to be, to be fully honest. I thought I was going to be spending more time here, but um, they want to take me to Earth first, and then I'll spend some time. I don't think it's here. But nonetheless, not a big deal. But of course, you know, it's 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 understanding the timeline at this point. Like Earth at this point is like it's not shortly thereafter, but is after all of humanity has been wiped out, and war war is still with the Chard Council, like paying for his crimes. Like it is not, um, it's not exactly like, oh yeah, we're, you know, like we're still well before um, Dark Siders one here, and uh, it's the timeline is weird, and they don't really address it in in a in a decent way. So it, I get confused sometimes, but uh, <laughs> quite crow. Angels. I don't know, I'm just a crow. <laughs> and this thing looks pissed. <laughs> nice skull texture. <laughs> this looks silly. But, at least, like, at this point, I'm, like, starting to get. Okay, this is stuff I can. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I. Play, like when I was playing Dark Souls 1, like this is the stuff that I was in for. Uh, now I'm starting to get angels, now I'm starting to get demons, now I'm starting to see Earth in its ruined state. <clears throat> like, yeah, like it's not the most thrilling stuff, but at the same time, it's something. <laughs> Forget about that. It's so ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, it's starting to actually click now, which is good. I just wish that it didn't take however many hours we're in, I think. Like, actually, I'm gonna... Uh, like, part of me wants to just look that up, like, really quick. But, uh, but yeah, I'll look that up all the time. But, uh... You know, I think we're, like, 20 hours in or something. Like, more than 20 hours. And now we're starting to get to the good stuff I like about Dark Souls 2. It's like, come on. Bro. But, nonetheless, despite all that, I'm happy that it's here. Happy that you know now it's death's death's purpose and like the way that I enjoy Dark Souls is now finally starting to take place. Doesn't matter to me 
that it's taking this long. I just wish that it had come a little bit earlier. That's okay. Get used to that camera. <laughs> the next, like, everything at Earth, like, anytime an enemy shows up. Eventually, um, equip it. That should be good. Oh, there's a little enemies are just one. It's really annoying. Easy to kill, but. They can surprisingly uh, knock you out of animation uh, just because they attack so fast. So, just like how you can do it with uh, with the secondary weapons of claws, they can do it to you. But you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestis to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestis fell. And the rod was shattered. Now the destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the rod? In the hands of the destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the abyss and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The suffering I know it took care of it. They <laughs> feed upon well, the war did. this world and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Hellguard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. So that it is not your last. <laughs> That's true, this entire this. game has been a fool's errand. <laughs> Here, take this giant gun. <laughs> uh, it's at this point that this game turns into Gears of War. <laughs> Too many. But for every dead angel there is another, kept alive against his will. This suffering empowers the destroyer. Perhaps... You could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Why are the Hellguards still on Earth? You lost Wait, you can't free them? In case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. What are these chills? Kind of depressing. They don't look like demons. No, they have something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the abyss. The most powerful serve the destroyer, and rule in his name over ash and bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the swarm. Of all the creatures that roam the wastes, they most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. So yeah, uh, they give you this. It, it's similar to um, they had they had similar sections to this in Dark Souls One of just this huge like minigun thing. <clears throat> in this case, this gun is a minigun, uh, shotgun, and ground pound. Uh, gun. So, and at this point, I don't know that I can just drop the gun. I think I'm like attached to it. Um, but yeah, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the it's not the worst, but um, it's just odd. But the next few sections essentially just become Gears of War, um, and the reason for that is because 
there is no reason not to use the gun. The gun is powerful. Um, it pretty much wallops everything. Uh, and it's just way more efficient. And it has no ammo. Um, so, so at this point, and for this episode and next episode, I think third episode is or part of third episode of this week. I'm just going to be using a lot of guns. And, again, it's, it's not the worst, but it's 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 a little bittersweet. Um, you know, you kind of get... You can easily play the rest of these sections uh, as melee, but uh, it's, it's not warranted, and I think that the reason why is coming up next. There's an example of why... You shouldn't go through the section of melee. Yeah, right here, these flaming guys. Um, as you would imagine, they are bombs. And they set you on fire. Um, it's not worth it to get close to them. So you want to be long distance. So this gun becomes your best friend. For all of Earth. Which is fine, but yeah, it, it this turns the game into this like Left 4 Dead, Gears of War hybrid. So and yeah, like again, there's just no reason for me to drop this gun. So like they they scatter them, they scatter other guns all over the place. So. And yeah, and we're rapidly approaching the end of this episode. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to end this off with a death. Because uh, that's how we roll. <laughs> but yeah, so um, so once again, thanks guys for watching. Uh, continue to like, subscribe, check out the site, geekwatch.com, g33kwatch.com. And, uh, and yeah, we'll be, you know, just keep spreading the word greatly appreciated and, um, and I'm just happy that Dark Souls 2 is starting to take a turn for the better um, really having fun really enjoying it I feel like the angels that I have to kill and I'm about to meet that huge honking beast the um, the suffering they call it what a silly name yeah, this is just me going back to see if um, there are any angels I missed that I have to kill or put out of their misery, as it were. And then, yeah, so now you get to see me get my ass kicked by one of these huge honking beasts. So that'll be entertaining. So I will leave you guys to that. Uh, again, uh, episodes for this week. Uh, four, we're still going to do four episodes, but it's going to be Tuesday to Friday. Um, and do not forget, uh, this upcoming Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we're going to be doing a live cast of uh, board game play. We're going to be playing uh, Nanook, Red Dragon Inn, and Forbidden Island live on the internet for your enjoyment. So be sure to tune in. It'll be on the Geekwatch site and on the Geekwatch Twitch account. So until then, guys, I'll see you later.